Hello friends, I'm Dr. Jeev Dram. Today I will discuss the management of arginophosphate and carbamate poisoning. Brief information about uh, arginophosphate and uh, carbamate poisoning. Examples arginophosphorus, melathione, perathione, TEPP, mavin phos and carbamates, methocarb and carbaryl. These can be absorbed through the skin, ingested or inhaled. The patient may complain of vomiting, diarrhea, blurred vision, or weakness. Signs are those of excessive parasympathetic activation, salivation, sweating, reclamation, slow pulse, small pupils, convulsions, muscle weakness, twitching, then paralysis, and loss of bladder control, pulmonary edema, and respiratory depression. Medical treatment Remove poison by irrigating eye or washing skin. If in eye or on skin, give activated charcoal if ingested and within one hour of the ingestion. Do not induce vomiting because most pesticides are in petrol based solvents. In a serious ingestion where activated charcoal cannot be given, consider careful aspiration of stomach contents by NG tube. The airway should be protected. If the patient has signs of excessive parasympathetic activation, give injection atropine 1 mg IV increased up to 1 to 2 mg IV every 15 minutes until atropinization occurs then decrease to 1 mg every 1 to 2 hours for 24 hours or more. Ask that the chest for signs of respiratory secretions and monitor respiratory rate, heart rate and coma score if appropriate. Consider injection of a doxime, a choline esterase activator to 50 mg IV slowly repeated once or twice at 2 hourly interval. Check for hypoxemia with pulse oximetry. Give oxygen if oxygen saturation is less than 90%. If muscle weakness, give injection polydoxime 1 to 2 gram diluted to 10 to 15 ml with water IV over 30 minutes. Repeat it every 6 to 12 hours to a maximum of 12 grams in 24 hours.